Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a sort of face on video for a while so I thought I'd do that today. Um, I recently went to Chester with two of my friends for one of their birthdays and we stopped at a spa and we went shopping as well. So I've got a little bit of a haul um, from a place over here in the UK called Cheshire Oaks which is a designer outlet. Um, so first up I've got some bits from a shop called a beauty outlet which sells a lot of nail polish um if i can i will insert the clip about here um so the first thing i've got to show you is this box set and this is from revolution which you can normally see in Superdrug. This is the Jewel Collection and this was only about £3 for the set. Now the reason I bought the set was because there's one polish in there that I really liked and I couldn't see it to buy on its own. So I'm going to take these out now to show you. Uh, so first up we've got this sort of pinky, I want to say it's holographic but I don't know it's a little bit a very subtle holographic if it is it's called orbit the lid is like a red color I, yeah they didn't get the the lid matching on this one um so there's that they're all very pretty but i've probably got a lot of shades like the others they're just this one that caught my eye uh next up we have twinkle which is a gold glitter i do like my gold glitters We then, oh, if I can get it out, we then have, oh, no name, this one's got no label on it with a name. I have to find this name out. This is the blue one, um, similar to the pinky purple, but like a blue, yeah, I don't know, very unusual. Still looks quite pretty, so I'll be interested to try. Oh, again, oh, hold on, this one has. Supernova, I wonder if that's got a little label on the bottom, yeah. Um, so Spectrum is what the blue one's called. And this one's called Supernova, which is definitely a purple. And then last but not least, if it will come out of the box. Oh, hold on there, the labels are stuck in the box. I found the labels. Oh, I'm such a weirdo when it comes to wanting labels and names on things. Uh, right, so. This one's called Galactic and it's like, it's like a, is it a rose? I don't know. It's sort of leaning towards red. This is the one that caught my eye. It looks very little similar to the red lid and I don't know. I just thought this looked unusual, looked like something that maybe I haven't got. Um, so that is basically the reason I picked up those. So those are those five in that set. Um, I also picked up a couple of nail files. I got this, which is like a buffer with a few different sides to it. I really like these sort of shaped ones. And I just got a, a normal boomerang nail file. I was like 99p. Um, let's see, what else did I get? So I think the rest from there is nail polish. Uh, so I got a, three Sally Hansons. So first up we have this one which is called Gift for Blue and it's like a very very pale grey blue with a silver glitter in it. Again this just looked like something unusual. It's either going to turn out pretty ugly like an ugly pretty or it's going to be very pretty so we shall see on that one. Um, I picked up a friend's one which is called Yellow Taxi. I'm a sucker for a yellow with a shimmer and as you can see that's got quite a strong shimmer there in the bottle. Whether it picks up on the nail is another thing but it's still very pretty and it's got like the little friend and the little friend's door, door frame um, door frame frame on it. So I picked up that one. They did have a lot of the other friends ones but I felt that I've, I've got stuff similar so I was trying to be really good at the same time and this last one is called Nebula and this one just looked really pretty 
I do think I gravitate towards the same things a lot, which I'm sure most of us do. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. Right, let's, I'm just going to put these out on the side so that I can show you by brand. Um, I did actually get some OPIs. So I bought two large OPIs and two mini OPIs. The first one is called Mystery. Now, it reminds me of a polish that I used to have, but I think this is more on the purple side. And I looked at it so much that in the end, I just had to pick it up. And I also like the silver lid. And then this one is called Have Your Panettone and Eat It Too. I couldn't decide if I liked this colour or not, so I just bought it to try. It's like an orangey, browny, mustardy, quite a mixture actually. So I'm quite interested to try that. I then picked up two minis because they were by the tell, they were pound each. And the OPIs are probably my some of my favourite minis because they're so cute. I just got this silver and then this sort of ready pinky, holographic -y glitter mix. Um, I'm guessing these are from the same collection as this, so I'm hoping I can find out the names because obviously the um, the minis never have the names on. And I got two from W7. So this first one is called The Ocean and it's this really dark sort of teal, greeny blue glitter. Um, and I just it just looked really beautiful and I know I haven't got anything like that and then this one just caught my eye and it's called Croatia and it's this really bright lime green which I thought would be really nice for the summer I've probably got it did remind me there's an SE but I think it might be slightly different now I just need to grab my other polish which is luckily just behind me so I then bought three, the three last polishes I got, I was really excited about, and I'm not sure if they're Love Thy Makeup, or I saw somewhere that it was the Technic brand, but I'm not sure. I need to look into it. Um, but, look at the bottles. These are the same bottles as my beloved Black Heart Beauties. So first up, we've got this one, and I think it's just called Black. I don't think they have names on the bottle, or they're hidden, so I can't see them very well. But this one, yeah, the, it's just called Black, basically. Um, but it has got these sort of glitters in there. But I obviously couldn't resist the bottles. And I did buy an extra set for one of my friends who they've got that on their way to them. Um, this one's just white. And I, I actually haven't got that many white polishes at the moment. So that was just, you know. But they had the three of them together. And I, so I just had to get all three. And then there's this one, which is like an oxblood red. Which is just called red. And I've actually got this one on my nails at the moment um and they need changing but they've got a we've got a topper on them as well just an iridescent topper um so that was everything from beauty outlet we then found a shop called rituals and it, it's like a i think it's like a sort of natural sort of thing i haven't um researched much into it yet but they are online so i will link the website down below actually i think beauty let outlet have an online store so i'll i'll check that out see if we can link that so uh, they had an offer on in this rituals place which was uh six for 20 pounds so i thought to try some of their stuff i'd do that so first we have a sensational foaming shower gel i am a bit obsessed with foaming shower gels uh, this is in the scent Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. I picked up a Parfume d'Interior, which is like basically like a house spray, you know, like a... Um, and this is... This is Savage Garden. I don't think it's got a, a scent name on it, but that comes in this little spray bottle and you can get bigger ones. You can get bigger ones of all of this. Um, one which was full size, which was in the offer, was this um, Ritual of Secure Instant Care Hand Lotion. And this is really nice. As you can see, it's 
Now it does say 95% of natural origin. This is cherry blossom and rice milk, so the same as the shower gel. Uh, it's I'm trying to see how. Oh, so it's 70 ml, and full price of these is about 12 pounds. But I have to say they are really nice. And I part of the six. Oh, so I got two. Of, I got two of these because I got, gave one to my mum. This is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. And this is actually a hand balm. And I tried this in, in the shop and I was really impressed. And this is what sort of made me want to buy more. And I picked up another hand balm, which is the Ritual of Secura, Secura, which is a recovery hand balm again. Oh, and this is the Cherry Blossom and Rice Milk. So I think I got quite a few in this scent. And then on top of those, I also got this fantastic hand scrub. It's a softening miracle hand scrub. And this is, does this have a scent on it? I'm not sure actually. Oh, Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. This is fantastic. It was on offer for about four pounds, but oh my gosh, it is so good. It sorted my cuticles out right really well so i would definitely be repurchasing some of this like i said they have got a website so i will link that down below for you all to have a look at um as well as buying those things i did buy a bit of clothing but it's a little bit harder um to show that but it was only a couple of things but this was sort of my main nail polish and beauty haul uh so really pleased with that i did quite well actually it was a lovely shopping trip and a lovely weekend so i hope you all enjoyed that guys uh, let me know if you've bought anything recently or if you've heard i'd really interested to see if anyone's heard of this rituals brand and if you've got anything by it and what you think and if you've seen any of these sort of skull polishes in any of the shops near you because normally obviously the black heart beauty was in the us and then i saw these just blew my mind so thank you everybody for watching thank you for all of my new subscribers and to everyone who's always been with me we're i think it was on 830 subscribers last time i looked which is amazing as you know my target for this year is to get to a thousand subscribers so keep clicking on that subscribe button for me don't forget to leave me a comment or a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye